Okay, so once I've got my infrastructure in, so we've talked about field devices, we've talked about communications, we've talked about the network, now we're gonna talk about the data, right? So really this is all about the data. The value, the cost is in the infrastructure, but the value is in the data and what we do with it. So once I get this data up, there's multiple kinds of people that can use it. Now obviously we use it for pipeline control, production control, that kind of stuff. But we can also use it for marketing, for scheduling, for comms management, for measurement management, right? So there's a lot of other users that would not be critical users, but can you know, value a lot from this data. We might want to build dashboards. We might want to put executive reports in here so the executives, when they get up you know, in the morning and they're getting ready for their daily meeting, they've got a place to go to see all their data. Now this sounds... For those of you guys that, you know, if, you, if you've transitioned recently into the oil and gas business, you're used to doing this. You put dashboards in all the time. You put reports in all the time. This is not a big deal. In our world, for some reason, this is a big deal. And the reason is we tend to end up with these islands of automation or we've got these big control systems that are kind of segregated and kept separate from everything else. And I don't want it to touch the business system. Well, those days are gone. We are all going to be sharing our operating data or we will be made redundant. Best way to move data outside the critical user is, is via the web, even if that's inside the corporate network. Most SCADA systems have some kind of web deployment. If I'm gonna take SCADA data and I'm gonna move it to other casual users, I probably wanna put that data on the other side of a firewall. So now what becomes important is whatever software I pick, how it does this, how it, how it makes its data redundant through a firewall becomes really important. Some products do this really well. Some products don't do this well at all. And I should, I should make a distinction too. So there's a product called Ignition. It's a web-based SCADA system. So it's all uh, HTML5 and Java. Great for wide deployment, inexpensive querying data, but I wouldn't use it for process control, and it really has no built-in redundancy, right? So what I'm driving at here is there's a lot of considerations when you're looking at this stuff. Most of these tools support various kinds of integration, APIs. Um, some of these SCADA software packages are fairly closed, it's hard to get data in and out. You have to use the application or have the vendor do custom code. Others have APIs and you can write code to move data in and out. So most SCADA packages are platforms. They do a certain set of functions that's common between all SCADA platforms. But what we want is business applications. So in a gas world, right? It's one thing to pull pressures and flows and put those pressures and flows on screens and have nice trends. It's quite a different thing to run calculations and figure out what the line pack is in the pipeline, right? So that requires me to do advanced math, which I might need to do as custom code. Is this making sense to you guys? So most of these, just like databases or platforms you use to build other stuff, SCADA systems are platforms that smart people have to build up and configure specific for the job. All right, so this is a big challenge. So historically, SCADA has been isolated. SCADA kind of existed behind a firewall in the process control network and didn't touch any of the business systems. And there's reasons why that's being sustained from a cybersecurity standpoint. For those of you that are, you know, follow that, you know, the, the, the threat is escalating. Um, there's things you can do in terms of gaining access and doing, you can download off the dark web tools to do man in the middle mod bus attacks and be able to spoof a controller where you actually overflow a tank and show them a level that's not overflowing. You, you, the, the tools are available to download over the web. Five years ago, that wasn't true. So, you know, in these, in terms of the cybersecurity threat, it's escalating. Um, 
But we do need to integrate this SCADA data. There's lots of people that can use it. Logistics wants it. Measurement wants it. Engineering wants it. You know, all these guys want this data. 